Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Boy, that last one turned out really dark in the end, didn't it? That sun sure did go down in a hurry. I got a couple of shots with my camera. I don't know how they'll turn out as prints, but they look pretty good on the small, you know, the, the little part. <laughs> it's about two by two and a half or something. And uh, I decided to wear these today. I had my hair up and that in a ponytail if you know I trimmed my bang, I had to have bangs I just had to have bangs but I want to be able to wear my hair up for the summer it's gonna actually be cooler than short hair that grows in, onto your back hair but anyway let me get started um, this is Tuesday March 31st and it's 8.08 p.m. and I'm down to my last three emails um, I, I do want to make a statement. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm never going to share another video on my email because that's not true. I'm sure I will. But I want to start trying to do more of my own research. You know, look around, see people I am subscribed to. What have they put up? Because they're people I trust. And like the way they present it and so forth and whereas um i really liked dana ashley with her reports on um what she did most recently versus what she did three years ago which was good but i would not follow her in her bible teachings that's just the way it goes when people don't know enough about the Bible to realize there's a rapture, I think there's something wrong. Uh, they're either learning from the wrong source or they're listening to the wrong voice, if you know what I mean. All right, now, here I've got an email, another Josh DeSaul uh, who sends out this this 5G crisis newsletter, Take Back Your Power. I shared one of these the other day. This one is called Surveillance and 5G Fast Tracked Under Pretext of Fighting Coronavirus. Hmm, Surveillance and 5G Fast Tracked. Well, if you've been paying any attention at all to the videos that are reporting the truth versus what mainstream media is saying, you realize this is exactly what's going on. Now, this email, this, this one just got me. I said, surely it's going to end better. <coughs> But I, I had to start it all over again. And this says right above it, I noticed this. Editors, no, this now this email is called wellnesspursuits.com. All right. Okay, so it's supposed to be about things to help us get well, right? Stay well, be well. All right. But it says, sponsored content keeps our newsletter free. We do not endorse all advertisers. I had just read that. When I went back to listen, I thought I could listen to where I stopped. But no, it started me at the very beginning. And it's a very long video. And guess what it's all about? 5G. But it's not about how it's bad for your health. No, no, no. It's about how wonderful it is and how it, but it has a glitch. You have to have your towers very close together and things like walls and um, what else did he say? I know he mentioned trees, windows will block the signal 
He took two phones. He said, I just paid $1,300 for this 5G capable phone. And this is my 4G phone. And I'm going to show you how great this 5G is going to be. And he pulled up to be able to download an almost four hour movie, Gone with the Wind. He hit the 4G one first to give it a head start. And he showed it doing that little round thing. And then he hit the 5G phone standing by a 5G tower in a downtown setting. I forget what city. Anyway, that movie downloaded in a, he said later under a minute, but I thought it said 1.57. But anyway, surely it wasn't 1.57 seconds. No, it had to have been a minute and 57. But anyway, so he misspoke. This one, by the time this 5G was done, the 4G phone was still just spinning and trying to pull it up. So he was showing us how great 5G is and why we want it. And I kept listening. I said, surely he's going to change his tune. And he kept on and on and on. And I don't remember what all I saw in the 30 minutes or so. I had to finally cut it off and thought, oh, maybe I can go back to it. And surely he's going to end up saying, because it's called, look, Tech Legend Reveals Major 5G Scandal. So, I can click on this viral video. Let's see if it'll take me to, yeah. Okay, so I got a web link up here. And I can put it in the description box. And if any of you want to spend, let's see if it tells exactly how long it is. I'm going to push this on. Hi, I'm E.B. Tucker, Senior Tech oh. Analyst for Casey Research. And I'm here today in downtown Denver to talk to you about 5G technology. I'm sure you've heard of it. Cell phone carriers like T-Mobile and AT&T spent over $300 billion to install thousands of towers like the screen one right behind me here to get 5G technology into the street. Also so that they can sell you phones like the one I'm holding right here that we paid $1,300 for. This is a new Samsung phone. It's equipped to capture 5G signal, which is some of the fastest internet technology that's ever been... Okay, that was 30 seconds. And it, it has... It was barely, like I said, when I was like 30 minutes into it, it was maybe a third or so of the way. So it's at least an hour. If you want to listen to it and tell us how it ends, does he end up calling it a scandal? Or is he trying to sell us on 5G? I'm not putting any more time into it, but I just was sharing with you. Oh, but wait. Don't have time to watch it? It says, High-tech master keys have made individuals rich. It's all about buying into the satellites they want to put up in the air to connect these towers so they don't have to put these towers or... And also, I remember he got to the point where he was showing these black boxes and it reminded me of a modem that would go inside your home, I'm presuming, or business, or schools. This says, because he talked about the 2G master key grew and made 17,600%. The 3G master key made 364%. Company got bought by Nokia before it surged higher. The 4G master key gave 17,672%. This is percent of, like, if they invested $10 they ended up with 17,672% more, higher. You do the math, I can't. Okay, 5G Master Key 
is projected to soar. One tiny company is about to roll out the 5G master key to take 5G technology countrywide. Just click read transcript below to keep reading my special online briefing or click continue video to keep watching. Okay, so when you click on reading it, the senior tech at Casey Research, he says, I'm here today in downtown Denver, Colorado, where one of the hottest new technologies in the world is being tested right now. Um, I'm going to try to skim through it real, real quick. Okay, it says, and millions of Americans plan to upgrade their phone to tap into this exciting new technology. Speaking of 5G, if you're one of them, I've got some bad news. 5G has an epic problem. It just doesn't work as promised, as I'm about to demonstrate live on camera. Okay, which he did with what I already told you about the movie download. There's a fatal flaw that could prevent 5G from rolling out across the country. And if this flaw isn't fixed, it could take years for American cities to see true 5G speeds. Making this $1,300 phone a huge waste of money. But there's a lot more at stake than your phone's download speeds. Because trillions of investment dollars hang in the balance. Groundbreaking technologies like smart buildings, traffic lights, smart homes, self-driving cars, airplanes, life-saving remote surgeries, and cutting-edge military innovations all depend on seamless 5G connectivity. Hmm. At lightning speed in real time. But before 5G can transform our lives, there's a major flaw that needs to get fixed. That's why giant telecom firms like T-Mobile and Sprint have focused their attention on one tiny company that owns a powerful new technology that instantly fixes 5G's glitch and should reward early investors with a windfall. My research indicates this tiny firm shares could soar in the months ahead. Okay, skimming on down. Skimming on down. Alright, CS read, oh my goodness sakes, alive. This is, this would take me an hour to read it, at least. Here's the long and the short of it. This firm's technology can... Okay, here's the black box I was talking about. And they want to use microsatellites that hover above the Earth. And they did show that. I saw that in the first 30 minutes or so. It's called the sky. It's something they send up there and then it'll open up and be a satellite to connect all these towers and all these little towers and okay but this black box it looks it's like a really wide modem I'm just wondering if that's going to go into our homes to make our 5G phones work Oh, turn a small $500 steak into, not a steak you eat, S-T-A-K-E. That means like a, like a stock, a bond, an investment. A $500 investment will get you $88,000. That's what he's claiming if you buy into Qualcomm. So anyway, I'm ending it here. This is not about your health. It's not going to make you weller. <laughs> weller. It's not going to improve your health. 
Bye. Done. De delete. Should I delete it? Do you want me to put the link? I will save it. If anybody wants the link, I will gladly post it. Now, I want to get to the good stuff. Why? What the Lord has to say about all this and other things. Those with sincere, repentant hearts will find me. This is a word from the Lord given March, well, see, dated March 30th. I guess it was given March 30th. Anyway, from to, to Victoria Ang, A-N-G, word from the Lord. As your world plunders further and further into the depths of darkness, are you utilizing this time I have given you to seek me and my word? Or are you continuing to go your own way or succumbing to the fears the enemy is placing in your lives? All that is occurring now serves a purpose. My divine plan is unfolding. This quiet time is meant for my children to diligently seek me and my word so that my truth may be revealed as you set your hearts and minds on me. Only those that come to me with a sincere, repentant heart will find me. I am gathering the last few of mine that have lost their way unto me. Because of my great love and mercy, I desire none to perish. Your world as you know it will never be the same. There are so many evil plans going on behind closed doors that most cannot comprehend. So if you can imagine, we know what 5G did to those people in Wuhan and probably the vaccines they were given ahead of time. See, when you're given metal, the more metal that's put into your body and then 5G is an electromagnetic field, right? Okay, not to mention all the other things you've got. You may have a smart meter. You may have the Wi-Fi. We've got Wi-Fi in our home. They claim it's not the same 5G as what's on a telephone pole. Well, I'm beginning to wonder. And when I try and cut mine off every night, when I take a nap, now I had trouble. I wait on the phone, wait on the phone, wait on the phone, wait on the phone. Well, I had it sitting here and I was doing something else, waiting to not be on hold. I finally get somebody and they tell me, after much checking things out, it's because I'm turning my power strip off when I go to bed or take a nap. And they told me to stop doing that. Now, what do you think about that? Okay, back to the Word of God. All right. Why did I get that in there? This says, I desire none to perish. Your world, as you know it, will never be the same. There are so many evil plans going on behind closed doors. Oh, here, what I was saying is if Jesus is telling us there's things going on behind closed doors that we don't know about, and they're letting this be on the Internet, letting us know about this, what else is coming? That's what I was going for. And just because you do not see it, with your own eyes, does not mean it does not exist. Stay in prayer and fasting. Cast all your worries and concerns upon me, 
so that my perfect peace will strengthen you. I will give you rest in the storms and shelter you with my wings of protection. My perfect love casts out fear. So receive my love and let it be made known unto you. My heart awaits the call for my name. The name above all names. Jesus. I am Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Jireh. Your healer and provider. I will help and bring you to safety. Pretty cool. Now, the scriptures given are 1 John 4, 18, KJV, and then it's got a Roman numeral LXX, which I believe is 70, so I don't know if that means 70th printing. I don't know. Fear is not in love, but perfect love casts fear outside. For fear holds punishment, and the one fearing has not been made perfect in love. Perfect love casts out fear. All right, Psalm 51, 1 and 2. Show mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the multitude of your compassions. Wipe away my violation of the law. Abundantly wash me from my... Sorry, I got it straighten up my legs. Um... <sighs> Now that's going to mess me up. Hold on a minute. I'm so sorry. I just had to all of a sudden. Okay. That's a good position. Let's start that one over. Or at least um, wipe away my violation of the law. Abundantly wash me from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. Hebrews 4.16 let us come forward then with confidence to the throne of favor that we should receive mercy and should find favor for opportune help. Matthew 9, 13 But having gone But having gone learn what it is said Mercy I want, and not sacrifice, for I came not to call the just, but sinners unto repentance. But aren't we all sinners? I guess he's saying, if you think you're perfect, and you don't need me because you're already good, I didn't come to call you. You know, there are people like that. They believe that whatever kind of religion they're into, they're a good person, and they know it. They don't hurt anybody. They don't cuss. They don't drink. They don't smoke. All that stuff. They're a good person, but they worship another god, or at least... They do not accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. They believe in the laws and rules of their church and they follow their church's leaders. How sad. 2 John 1 3, King James Version. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. Now, isn't that beautiful? So, so I got the news, some more news on the bad stuff. And then we got someone trying to get you to buy into it. 
to make thousands and thousands of dollars. And don't you know, many people will fall for that. And then we've got the Lord telling us his side of it. I do believe this message did come from the Lord. Take it to him. Pray about it. Go over the scriptures. If you don't believe it or you're not sure, that's okay too. Uh, I just would be very leery of saying that's from the devil. Any, I mean... I have said that on a few things because it was so obvious. But when it's not obvious and I'm like, eh, I don't know about that, That's, that don't sound quite right, then for one, I, you know, I wouldn't share it. Um, I, I would not ever say that's of the devil. I'm just not going there when I'm not sure. And um, you need to be darn sure. I mean, really, let's just not even go there, okay? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the Internet Connection, myself, and over each and every single one of you and all of your devices and your Internet Connections so that they'll stay up. I know it's frustrating when they keep messing with your connection and you can't get your email or get on YouTube and you know watch the folks you trust and know this is our church this to me this is my church you know like I can't just do videos I can't just do emails and comments I have to find a good video at least five times a week, you know? And then I like t taking time to listen to my music. We need to do that. We need to spend more time, if you're not already, if you're not already, make sure you're spending some time or make some time for some praise and worship music several times a week, a good sermon or an hour's worth or more of good preaching at least four or five times a week. You know, now that we're at home, those who are out of work and have the time, you know, are you going to fill it with recreation? Reading books that aren't going to teach you much, you know, or man's opinion? It might be a religious book, a spiritual book, Christianity book. But remember, whatever it is, if it is not the Word of God, it's a man's opinion. And it could be, there are some good, good writers. And I'm sure there are many that could teach you, like, the only one that comes to my mind is that Wigglesworth. Can't remember his first name. <laughs> and anyway, that was the only one that comes to my mind right off the bat that I heard would, if he wrote the book, I would read it. If I had time. I do good to read the word. And that's why I said, <laughs> I was saying to Morell, I'm going to take a vacation because I want more time with the Lord and in the word. So, I may not be sharing. I don't want to say, do not send me any more videos. I don't want to say that. But don't be surprised if I don't share it or any of them for a while or ever again as much as before. Because even though a lot of this is good information, good for you, um... A lot of it's getting deleted because I just don't have time to do it all. I'm only one me, and I'm not letting anybody clone me. How about you? <laughs> no way. So I'm looking forward to the blessed hope, the rapture, our blessed hope, that says that in the twinkling of an eye, whoosh, we're out of here. And then, according to what the Lord told me, we're coming back to harvest the wheat. 
Anybody not want to do that for the Lord? I do. I'd love to come back in my glorified body. Transformed, however you want to say it, will be awesome. <laughs> I mean, let's just face it. We'll be like superheroes to a lot of people for Jesus. And it'll be a blessing to serve the King. All right. Bye, everybody. I'll talk to you later.